Okay, supposedly in this field here, there was a early 1900 store and a post office. Let's see what we can get. Okay, I'm back to the same area where I got those three silvers. Uh, look at that. What do we got here? Oh yeah, that's a barber. 1907. Last one I got was a 1906. Man, this one's in great shape. So I have a high tone in this plug. I've been on such a streak. I guess I'm gonna kinda do a live dig. See what it is in the plug at least. It's crazy. There it is. It's another one. Ugh. What a freaking hot spot. Uh, it's another 1907. Man. Amazing. That's two already. <laughs> Woody. Oh, Combs Boss. Boom. I thought you had a suspender clip in there. Uh, just a, not a clip. Just a uh, rivet off of it. He said he saw bear mom of the cub up just, just up the, the road for me that's still pretty cool <laughs> i can't believe it i haven't only been here like a half hour i'm on my third what looks like barber dime be super cool if one of them was seeded obviously but oh there we go that one's even in the 1800s 1899 I'm not gonna rub these up too much. I'll wash them later. Look at this guy encroaching on me. What are you doing? This is my spot over here. I'm coming to help you. <laughs> you don't even like barber dimes. Then you got one. <laughs> exactly. Damn dime hog. <laughs> now, there goes Dinwiddie. He didn't get any of those silver dimes. So he usually digs in the daytime and I have to work and then we meet up usually only for an hour or so and he's got to leave. Sucks, but I'm going to see what else I can get. I mean, I've already had a day. I mean, man, three barber dime day. I've only been out here like an hour, hour and a half. Got almost all of them in the first half hour. Oh, look at this. Can't even believe it. Got me a jingle bell. I don't know if this is officially a jingle bell or a croto bell. I think this might be a jingle bell or like a sleigh bell. But man, these are really cool. And this isn't no chintzy one. These are made out of a really nice brass. Hopefully I can get this thing dinging. All right, I couldn't help myself. I had to go clean it up. No real good place to hang on to it, but. Probably hasn't dinged in over 100 years. How awesome is that? Oh, I can't believe it. I am just killing it today. What is that? It's gonna be a V-nickel, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, let me clean it up. Yeah, you gotta love that sandy soil. 1901. Beautiful. We're lucky here in Montana, man. Irving nickels always come out beautiful. Seems like watch other people dig them in other places and they're just trashed. Oh my gosh, I think I see big silver in this hole. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it's <laughs> a barber half dollar. Oh my gosh, that's my first one ever. Oh, I can't believe it. That's amazing. Oh, it's on edge. It sounded terrible. Dude, barber half. No way. This is like the, 
one of my best hunts ever. This is crazy. Okay, so I'll try to clean it up for you when I get back to some water. But that's a D. 1907D. Okay, here's a <laughs> look at it cleaned up. Oh, how neat is that? Man. That is one half dollar I don't have. The crazy thing is, I have like eight one ounce coins. I mean, some of them are foreign. And one's a token. But I have a bunch of Morgans and Peace Dollars. And I've got the Ben Franklin half dollars. I've got the Standing Liberty half. Never got that one. Boom. Okay, I don't know what we have here. But it might be cool. <gasps> it is. Look at that. I think. It's going to be a general service button or something. Oh, let me clean it up. Oh, I hope this focuses for you guys. So it just says Montana. And it's got like a coat of arms or something. The back mark says McLillian Company, Columbus, Ohio. I wonder if this is like a Montana militia button or something weird. That's going to be a fun one to look up. If I don't know when I release this video, I'd sure love some help. Well, I found a butter knife. That's awesome. It's one of my uh, white whales. I've never got a never got an actual silver utensil. And I don't know. I'll have to check this out, but I think this one probably is not either. Well, unfortunately, that's all I can do tonight. Dinwiddie's going to beat me here in the morning, and he's going to dig, and I'm going to meet him here when I get off work, so we'll see what he can find without me. Hopefully, uh, he'll leave me some stuff, so should be a second day of this. I can't imagine it'll be as good as the first one, but man, what a great spot. All right, so Dinwiddie is working that awesome spot for half a day. He, he didn't find anything. So here we are, almost right next to it, but in a different potential cellar hole and everything. I don't know. We're going to try this for a minute and then maybe go back over there. So I can show him where the treasure is. So you can teach me how to do it again? <laughs> well, what do we got here? Looks like a coin to me. Uh, what is it going to be? Oh, I think it's going to be a wheat. So I think I got a 1920 Wheaty. So, yeah, probably the same date range as the other spot. I was getting a lot of 1907 over there. 1920 is not far off. Okay, Dinwiddie's got some sort of musical piece, it looks like. It seems too thick to be harmonica. I'm not sure. Unless it's an electrical part, but I think it's musical. Yeah, it looks musical. It looks like a, it reads on a harmonica almost. And they do go all the way through. They kind of look like they're the same length, though, which is weird. Yeah. All right. Well, I did kind of see this. I know it's going to be a buckle. Oh, look at that. It's still on the leather, even. Not bad. Nice brass buckle. I like 16. Look at that. He got him a pocket knife. It only take you what seven hours? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> only seven hours to find a relic. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful though. Yeah, pretty cool. Look at that. That's some old uh, 
musket stuff there. <laughs> Look at this awesome cellar hole or house or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, Dender Whitty's right. <laughs> it's a lot slower out here today. And I must have just really hit a patch yesterday. Uh, I got a button here, but it's toast. I got a little time. Let's see what we can get. I got a coin. What the heck is it? Oh, I think I got an Indian. All right, I got it cleaned up. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> it's 1907 again. Ah, it's almost like there was like some sort of like a gathering or something here in 1907. I mean, yeah, certainly people were here over the years. Why did so many people lose coins here in 1907? Awesome. I was starting to think that maybe I wasn't going to get a coin tonight. Well, I guess I got that weedy. Man, this place has just been amazing though. Got a little more time. See what happens. Yeah, Dinwiddie and I were just talking about how I could pull that much silver out of this site and no Indian head pennies anywhere. There it is. <laughs> they had one penny, at least. Well, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, big storm coming in. This has been awesome. There is one problem with this site is that people use it as a shooting range. So I'm going to have to come back when I have a whole day where I can just really dig shell casings. Because I've been trying to kind of go in between them. But obviously I'm missing stuff because there's so many it's got to be masking a few things. So, Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one.